Welcome to classic cinema. Time has no mercy on anyone, and that becomes even more evident when we look at the movie stars who seem to have proved too harsh. Despite having made the hearts of millions of audiences flutter with their charm and glamour, not everyone can withstand the power of time. In this article, we will explore famous stars who have had to face the drastic changes of age, from obvious marks on their skin to changes in their appearance that have left them no longer the same. Let's learn and contemplate the truth about the legends of the silver screen who had to go through a not-so-pleasant journey when time was no longer their companion. Tina Louise, born February 11, 1934, in New York City, was one of the most glamorous stars of 1960s Hollywood. With her childhood name of Tina Blacker, she wowed fans with her role as Ginger Grant, the charming movie star in the classic sitcom Gilligan's Island. Before being stuck on the deserted island, Tina conquered the Broadway stage and the big screen with prominent roles in Lil Abner and God's Little Acre, for which she won the Golden Globe for New Star of the Year. After leaving Gilligan's Island, Tina Louise continued her journey in the entertainment industry with impressive roles in The Stepford Wives and The Love Boat, along with many stage plays. Despite her mixed feelings about the iconic show that launched her career, her role as Ginger Grant remains a beloved part of television history. At 90, Tina Louise still has the charm and talent and has also impressed readers with her books. She deserves to be one of the eternal icons of the entertainment industry. Maureen McCormick, born August 5th, 1956 in Encino, California, is a familiar face on American television. She rose to fame with her role as Marsha Brady on The Brady Bunch, a role that defined her career from 1969 to 1974. During those years, Marsha Brady became an icon, making McCormick one of the most recognizable stars on the small screen. After the success of The Brady Bunch, McCormick did not stop with that famous role. She continued to appear in many projects related to The Brady Bunch, including spin-off shows such as The Brady Bunch Hour, The Brady Girls Get Married, and A Very Brady Christmas. However, the immense success of her role as Marsha Brady has made it difficult for McCormick to escape the image that has become so synonymous with her. In addition to her remarkable career, McCormick has also experienced many personal challenges, including substance abuse and mental health issues, which she shared in her acclaimed memoir, Here's the Story, Surviving Marsha Brady and Finding My True Voice. Even at the age of 68, Maureen McCormick continues to be active in the television and film industry, proving her tenacity and passion for the craft. Debbie Harry, whose real name is Angela Trimble, was born on July 1, 1945, in Miami, Florida. She was adopted by Richard and Catherine Harry and raised in Hawthorne, New Jersey. Harry rose to fame as the lead singer of the popular punk and new wave band Blondie and made a strong impact on the music scene in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Blondie's third album, Parallel Lines, featured the hit Heart of Glass, which catapulted the group to the top of their career. Songs like Call Me, Rapture, and The Tide is High further cemented their reputation and established Harry as a major influence in the punk and new wave movement. After Blondie disbanded in 1982, Harry continued to focus on music and even tried her hand at a solo career, releasing albums like Cuckoo and Rockbird. In addition to her music, she has also made her mark in the film industry with notable roles in films such as Videodrome and Hairspray. To this day, Debbie Harry continues to be active in the music and performing arts, maintaining a far-reaching influence and becoming an indispensable icon in both punk and pop music.
Mary Lou Henner, born April 6, 1952 in Chicago, Illinois, is an American actress, author, and health advocate. With a surge in popularity in the late 1970s and early 1980s, Mary Lou became a household name for her role as Elaine O'Connor on the hit television series Taxi. She played a single mother and aspiring artist who worked as a taxi driver, and Taxi quickly became one of the most beloved sitcoms of all time, running from 1978 to 1983. After Taxi ended, Mary Lou continued to expand her career with various roles on screen and television, such as in the films Johnny Dangerously and L.A. Story. She also showed her humor in series such as Evening Shade and Brooklyn 99. In particular, Mary Lou is known for her hypermemory memory, HSAM, which allows her to recall specific details from almost every day of her life, a very rare ability. In addition to her acting career, she has written many books on health and wellness and is an active advocate for a healthy life. Despite being 72 years old, Mary Lou Henner continues to be active in the entertainment industry and participates in health-related projects. There is nothing better than starting your day with a cup of aromatic tea and enjoying this fascinating video. Please like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on other interesting content. Karen Black, born Karen Blanche Ziegler, was born on July 1, 1939, in Park Ridge, Illinois, USA. With her prominent roles in the 1970s and 1980s, she established herself as one of Hollywood's most talented actresses. She rose to prominence with her role as Rayette DePesto in the film Five Easy Pieces, 1970, opposite Jack Nicholson, a performance that earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout her career, Karen Black was known for her ability to take on a variety of roles and not be afraid to challenge herself. Films such as The Great Gatsby, 1974, Nashville, 1975, and The Day of the Locust, 1975, showed her versatility on screen. Her role in Nashville in particular earned her a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress. In addition, Karen Black also left a strong mark in classic horror films such as Trilogy of Terror and Burnt Offerings. She passed away on August 8, 2013, at the age of 74, after a battle with cancer. Her bold artistic choices and outstanding contributions to cinema have created an unforgettable legacy in Hollywood history. Kate Jackson, whose full name is Lucy Kate Jackson, was born on October 29, 1948 in Birmingham, Alabama, and has left a lasting impression on the American film and television industry. She is best known for her role as the intelligent, sharp-toned Sabrina Duncan in the classic film Charlie's Angels, where she was one of the three original angels who were loved everywhere. This role not only won her much praise, but also affirmed her position in Hollywood. After the resounding success of Charlie's Angels, Kate continued to impress when she transformed into Amanda King, a suburban mother who suddenly became a secret agent in the film Scarecrow and Mrs. King. Thanks to this role, she was nominated for a Golden Globe Award, proving her talent and strong appeal on the small screen. In addition to being an actress, Kate Jackson also tried her hand at the role of a television director, demonstrating her diverse abilities and creativity in the entertainment industry. Now, at the age of 75, Kate has retired from acting, but her image as the angel Sabrina still lives on in the hearts of audiences as an unforgettable icon of the 70s and 80s.
Adrian Barbo, born June 11, 1945, in Sacramento, California, is an actress, singer, and author known for her storied career and distinctive voice. She first gained attention in the 1970s as Rizzo in the Broadway musical Grease, and quickly became a household name in Hollywood as Carol Trainer on the popular sitcom Maud. Her career exploded in the horror and science fiction genres, with notable roles in John Carpenter's films such as The Fog and Escape from New York. One of her most memorable roles was in George A. Romero's Creepshow, which established her as an icon in the genre. Adrienne has not only found success as an actress, but has also impressed with her voice acting in animated projects such as Batman, the animated series. She is also the author of the autobiography There Are Worse Things I Could Do. Even at 79 years old, Adrienne Barbo is still active in the entertainment industry, regularly appearing at horror conventions and continuing her voiceover work, proving that she is still a shining star in the hearts of her fans. Susan St. James, born August 14, 1946, in Los Angeles, California, was a talented actress who rocked the small screen with memorable roles in the 1970s and 1980s. Born Susan Jane Miller, she rose to prominence as Peggy Maxwell on the television series The Name of the Game, 1968-1971, a role that earned her an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress. However, her most beloved role was that of Kate McArdle on the sitcom Kate and Alley, which aired from 1984 to 1989. As Kate, a divorced mother living with her best friend Alley, Susan created a lovable and authentic portrayal of modern family life, making the show a staple of its time. The success of Kate and Alley earned her three consecutive Emmy nominations for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. In addition to her television successes, Susan St. James also made her mark in films such as Outlaw Blues and Love at First Bite. Her charm and relatable performances won the hearts of audiences. Now, at 78, Susan has largely retired from acting, focusing on her family and charitable activities, but her impact on screen will always be remembered. Florence Henderson, born February 14, 1934, in Dale, Indiana, was a shining star of the small screen and Broadway stage. She began her career in the 1950s and quickly made her mark with memorable roles in popular musicals such as Oklahoma and Fanny. However, Florence Henderson truly became a national icon when she played Carol Brady on the legendary television series The Brady Bunch. Airing from 1969 to 1974, the show not only established her as an ideal mother, but also left a deep impression on American audiences with its warmth, love, and family values. Although the Brady Bunch ended, Florence Henderson continued to be involved in television, reprising her role as Carol Brady in many versions and anniversary events. She also tried her hand at hosting on the Florence Henderson Show and participated in the reality show Dancing with the Stars. Florence Henderson passed away on November 24, 2016, leaving behind a great legacy and regret in the hearts of fans at the age of 82. Lonnie Anderson, born August 5, 1945, in St. Paul, Minnesota, is an American actress best known for her role as Jennifer Marlowe on the sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati. In the late 1970s, her role as a glamorous secretary at a fictional radio station made Anderson a household name. 
This not only earned her multiple Golden Globe and Emmy nominations, but also established her as an icon of 1970s and 1980s television, often compared to Hollywood's famous blonde icons. After the success of WKRP in Cincinnati, which aired from 1978 to 1982, Anderson continued to develop her television career with roles in series such as Partners in Crime and Nurses, along with guest appearances on The Love Boat and Fantasy Island. She also appeared in the movie Stroker Ace with Burt Reynolds. Now 79 years old, Lonnie Anderson is still active in the entertainment industry and actively participates in nostalgia events related to WKRP in Cincinnati. And Margaret, born on April 28, 1941 in Valsjöbyn, Jantland County, Sweden, is one of Hollywood's most prominent actresses, singers, and dancers. As a child, her family decided to immigrate to the United States and settled in Wilmette, Illinois. And from here, a new star began to shine. Standing out with her energetic performances, and Margaret made her first mark in the hearts of audiences in the early 1960s with her role in Bye Bye Birdie in 1963. Along with her captivating beauty and captivating acting ability, she received a Golden Globe nomination, opening the way for a successful career. In 1964, she collaborated with Elvis Presley in the hit film Viva Las Vegas, further affirming her talent. With a career spanning from musicals to dramas, and Margaret has been nominated for two Academy Awards for her roles in Carnal Knowledge, 1971, and Tommy, 1975, and has won five Golden Globes. At 83, and Margaret continues to create and participate in the entertainment industry, from guest appearances on television to voiceover projects, proving that the fire of passion within her still burns bright. Patricia Neal, born January 20, 1926 in Packard, Kentucky, was a Hollywood star with an impressive career in both film and stage. Born Patty Louise Neal, she won the hearts of audiences in the 1950s with her emotional roles in such films as The Day the Earth Stood Still and A Face in the Crowd. But her real breakthrough came in 1963 when she starred in the film HUD opposite Paul Newman. As Alma Brown, a housekeeper, Patricia Neal won the prestigious Academy Award for Best Actress, establishing herself as one of Hollywood's leading actresses. In addition to her great success on the silver screen, Patricia also received a Tony nomination for her role in the Broadway play Another Part of the Forest. Despite facing health challenges, including a series of strokes in the mid-1960s, Patricia never gave up. She returned to her career and continued to make significant contributions to the entertainment industry. Patricia Neal passed away on August 8, 2010, leaving behind a legacy of unforgettable performances and contributions to film and theater. Victoria Principal, one of the most enduring icons of television, was born on January 3, 1950, in Fukuoka, Japan. Although of American descent, her family chose Japan as the place where she was born. Victoria's career began to take off in 1978 when she joined the cast of the hit television series Dallas, where she played Pamela Barnes Ewing, the strong-willed and compassionate wife of Bobby Ewing. This role made the name Victoria Principal familiar and beloved among viewers. Not stopping there, 
Victoria devoted herself to Dallas for nearly a decade, from 1978 to 1987, and her character Pamela became an indispensable part of television history. After leaving the series, she continued to innovate and expand her field. The 1980s saw the launch of her principal secret skincare line, a huge success that cemented her entrepreneurial prowess. Now 74, Victoria Principal devotes her time to her skincare business and philanthropy, continuing to make a lasting impression on both the entertainment and business worlds. Patricia Quinn, born May 28, 1944, in Belfast, Northern Ireland, is a legendary British actress of film and television. She is best known for her role as Magenta, the mysterious and seductive maid in the classic film The Rocky Horror Picture Show, 1975. With her outstanding acting talent, unique voice, and impressive appearance, Patricia has made an indelible mark on the hearts of audiences and the Rocky Horror fan community. In the mid-1970s, when the Rocky Horror Picture Show hit the screen, Patricia Quinn's role made her a shining star in the entertainment industry. She not only participated in the film, but also played an important part in the original play The Rocky Horror Show, contributing to the success and lasting influence of this work. Patricia Quinn continues to maintain her connection with the series through events and conferences. In addition to this famous role, she has appeared in many British television series and films, including Doctor Who, I, Claudius, and The Professionals. Now in her 80s, Patricia Quinn remains active in the entertainment industry and participates in events celebrating the legacy of the series. Joanna Cassidy, born August 2, 1945, in Camden, New Jersey, is an American actress known for her memorable roles over a career spanning more than five decades. Raised in Haddonfield, New Jersey, Joanna made a strong impression on audiences in the early 1980s when she played Zora in Ridley Scott's science fiction classic Blade Runner. Her character, the robot with the snake tattoo, became an unforgettable icon in cinema. But Joanna Cassidy has also made her mark in many other films and television series. Her role as Dolores in the comedy Who Framed Roger Rabbit, 1988, captivated audiences. On television, she is best known for her role as Margaret Chenoweth on the hit series Six Feet Under, 2001-2005, a role that earned her a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actress. Joanna has also appeared in other television series such as Buffalo Bill, Boston Legal, and Desperate Housewives. Now 79 years old, Joanna Cassidy continues to shine on the small and big screen, although her role as Zora in Blade Runner remains an important and indispensable part of her cinematic legacy. Veronica Hamill, born November 20, 1943, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, is an American actress and former model. She began her career in the fashion industry before turning to acting in the late 1970s. Hamill is best known for her role as Joyce Davenport in the popular television series Hill Street Blues, which aired from 1981 to 1987. In the series, she played a public defender and the love interest of Captain Frank Furillo. For this role, Hamill received five Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series. The huge success of Hill Street Blues cemented her status in the television industry, making her one of the most prominent figures in the genre. 
In addition to her memorable role in Hill Street Blues, Hamill has appeared in many other shows and films, including Cannonball Run 2 and Knott's Landing. Although she has gradually retreated from the limelight at the age of 80, Hamill's influence, especially in portraying strong female characters, is still recognized and celebrated. Donna Mills, a name that cannot be ignored in the entertainment industry, was born on December 11, 1940, in Chicago, Illinois. Her career began in the 1960s, and she quickly attracted attention with her role as Laura Donnelly in the TV series Love is a Many Splendid Thing. But when it comes to Donna Mills' most important role, it is impossible not to mention her role as Abby Fairgate Cunningham in the hit TV series Knott's Landing. Starting in 1980 and lasting until 1989, Mill's ambitious and scheming character Abby became an indispensable part of the series' success. With her excellent performance, Donna Mills not only won the hearts of the audience, but also received warm praise from critics. Throughout her illustrious career, she has continued to challenge herself with various roles, from actress to producer, demonstrating her versatility and passion for the entertainment industry. Despite turning 83, Donna Mills remains charismatic and regularly appears in guest roles on television and in independent films. Let's congratulate her and continue to follow her next steps in this colorful artistic journey. Jill Clayburgh, one of Hollywood's most prominent actresses, has left a lasting impression on audiences with her impressive performances throughout her career. She was born on April 30, 1944, in New York City, and rose to prominence in the 1970s with roles that dealt with contemporary social issues, especially stories about women's rights and personal relationships. Her most memorable role was that of Erica Benton in the film An Unmarried Woman, 1978, an emotional character facing major life changes after a divorce. Clayburgh's outstanding performance in this role not only won the hearts of audiences, but also earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. This success made her an icon of the feminist movement in cinema. Clayburgh also received an Oscar nomination for her role in Starting Over, 1979, and won the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival. She was also nominated for a Tony Award for her work on Broadway. Jill Clayburgh died on November 5, 2010, at the age of 66, from complications related to chronic leukemia. Barbara Hershey, born February 5, 1948, in Hollywood, California, is a talented actress whose career has spanned more than five decades. Since her early days in the 1970s, when she made a strong impression in films such as Last Summer and Martin Scorsese's Boxcar Bertha, Hershey has proven herself to be a versatile and accomplished film star. She has not only received critical acclaim, but has also achieved considerable success, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her role in The Portrait of a Lady, an Emmy Award for her role in A Killing in a Small Town, 1990, and a Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival for Shy People, 1987. Barbara has captivated audiences in acclaimed films such as Beaches, Hannah and Her Sisters, and Black Swan, as well as taking on the lead role in the classic horror film The Entity. On television, she made her mark in the series Chicago Hope. Even at the age of 76, Hershey continues to appear in both film and television, proving that her passion for acting has not waned with time.
Time may change everything, but the influence of these stars will last forever. Their legacy is a testament to their timeless talent. If you love the fascinating stories of movie stars and want to discover more interesting articles, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Classic Cinema channel. We will continue to bring you great and in-depth content about the world of cinema that you don't want to miss. Thank you for accompanying us.